The year 2020 has ushered in some revolutionary advances and discoveries, some of which sound like they are just out of a science fiction book, though they are very real and likely to immensely change the world. Researchers have made remarkable steps towards understanding the planet, human physiology, medicine, geography and surroundings. Astronomers, geologists, anthropologists and many other scientists feel that the world is now experiencing quantum leaps in several pursuits in science, from space explorations to nature and the environment, to healthcare and life in general. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be going over five incredible science discoveries made in 2020. Google's AI model outperforms humans at breast cancer detection. Bringing hope to every person who has to undergo screening for breast cancer and even for those subjected to false alarms from digital mammograms, an artificial intelligence model from Google has outperformed radiologists in detecting breast cancer through scanning the results from X-ray. Google has developed artificial intelligence which will help in breast cancer identification. The model, which scans mammograms, has been reported to reduce false interpretations by 9.4%. Interpreting mammograms is a hard task, even for the experts, and sometimes may result in false positive or negative reports. Google said the following in a recent post. The inaccuracies in interpretation may result in delays in detecting and treating cancer, more workload for the radiologists, and patient stress. The AI model from Google spotted cancer cells from de-identified mammograms with more accuracy and less false positives and negatives when compared to experts. The technical lead in Google Health, Shravya Shetty, said that the model sets the stage for future applications with its potential to support radiologists in screening for breast cancer. Digital mammography, also known as X-ray screening, is the most popular breast cancer screening method. However, the product manager at Google Health, Daniel C., says that despite its popularity, the early diagnosis of breast cancer remains a challenge. Together with support from DeepMind, Northwestern University, Cancer Research UK, Imperial Centre and the Royal Survey County Hospital, Google set to find out whether the model could enable radiologists to spot more accurately the early sins of breast cancer and the findings showed that the model indeed improves the detection of breast cancer cells, surpassing individual experts. Google says that this is the latest research on breast cancer diagnosis and detection, not only in the scope of radiology, but also pathology. The tech giant says it looks forward to partnerships in the future that will translate their research into tools that will benefit both patients and clinicians. Venus is currently volcanically active. Despite the many similarities between Earth and Venus, there is a lot that remains unknown about Venus and how it was formed. Owing to its hazy and dense atmosphere, the questions about the planet's geological history remain unsolved. Even as the planet is known for its volcanic activity about 2.5 million years ago, no evidence has shown volcanic eruptions still occur on the planet. New research led by Justin Filiberto, a planetary geologist and geochemist from Uzra's Lunar and Planetary Institute, however shows that the planet may still have active volcanic activity, making it the only planet in the solar system, apart from Earth, having volcanic activity today. New research that was published in the Journal of Science Advances revealed that volcanoes in Venus may have erupted only a few years ago, and they may still be spewing lava actively today making it a great place to visit to get a better understanding of the planet's interiors. In the early 20th century, Venus Express took night infrared readings of Venus's surface and found quite young chemically altered minerals within the lava flows, which was less than 2.5 million years old. Filiberto recreated Venus's volatile atmosphere in a lab to test how fast it could degrade minerals found in the lava and found that it would happen within days, which was much faster than expected suggesting that the lava that was initially analysed was just a few years old. Future explorations to Venus are currently being advocated by most researchers as they could shed more light on the volcanoes and help scientists learn the volcano's similarities and differences to those that occur on Earth. 
the Chinese paddlefish is officially declared extinct. Researchers say that a giant fish that has survived for at least 150 million years has been wiped out completely due to human activity. Research published in The Science of the Total Environment reported that the Chinese paddlefish, which is also known as the Chinese swordfish, is extinct. The monster fish, which is among the largest freshwater fish in the world, can grow as long as 23 feet and weigh up to 1,100 pounds. It was common in the Yangtze River in China and was commonly referred to as water tiger due to its fast speeds. The species had been declared functionally extinct in 1993, implying that it no longer could reproduce to sustainable numbers. Research reports that no giant paddlefish have been seen in the Yangtze River since 2003 and estimate that the last of the species probably died between the years 2005 and 2010. The major cause of extinction has been listed as too much fishing and the construction of a dam which split the Yangtze River in 1981, also splitting the population of the fish species. The Yangtze River, which is about 3,900 miles long, has seen the extinction of half of the species that are unique to its waters. Two more species native to this river, the Yangtze dolphin and the reeves, have also been declared functionally extinct, according to the Chinese media. China has announced a 10-year ban on fishing in some areas of the river to conserve its biodiversity. TOI-1338B is discovered by Wolf Kukier. A teenage intern at a NASA program to examine the world beyond the solar system discovered a new planet which has two stars lying in a system that is 1300 light years away in the constellation. Wolf Cookier, who is 17 years old, who has just started his senior year at Scarsdale High School in New York, discovered this while peering through the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also known as TESS, from NASA. The team detected the first circumbinary planet in the entire mission, a world that orbits two stars. During his internship, he was assigned to study stars crossing paths to create an eclipse. He concentrated on the solar system TOI-1338, when he observed something blocking the light in the orbit of two stars. At first, Cookier thought it was a stellar eclipse, but it was not the right timing. He reported this and his supervisors, after taking weeks to verify what he had observed, concluded that Cookier had discovered a new planet that was 6.9 times bigger than Earth, or between the size of the planet Neptune and Saturn, and only the 13th of its kind to ever have been discovered. NASA says that the stars make a binary eclipse that happens when the stellar companions go around each other in our viewplane, with one about 10% bigger than the Sun and the other which is comparatively dim and cool, only a third of the Sun. Cookie reports that the transits of this planet are not regular, occurring between every 93 days and 95 days, and are different in duration and depth due to the star's orbit motion. Through TESS, one can only see the transits that cross the larger star. Those of the smaller star are too faint to be detected. Reports say that this orbit will be stable for the next 10 million years. However, the angle of the orbit to us changes enough to make the planet transit to stop after November 2023 and start again after eight years. The discovery of TOI 700D the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also known as TESS from NASA, has discovered the first planet of a size that is similar to that of Earth in the zone that can be inhabited in its stars, in distance ranges with conditions just perfect for its surface to have liquid water. Researchers have confirmed these findings, named TOI 700D through the Spitzer Telescope at NASA, and have gone ahead to model the potential environment of this planet to offer guidance in observations in the future. Other planets that are similar to Earth in size discovered in habitable zones of the stars include TRAPPIST-1 and others that were detected by NASA's telescopes. TOI-700 star is small and cool. It is about 0.4 the size and weight of the Sun and almost half of the Sun's surface temperature. The star was initially wrongfully classified in the NASA databases as more alike to the Sun, implying that planets appear bigger and much warmer. TOI-700b 
which is the innermost planet, is almost the same size of the Earth, probably rocky and orbits every 10 days. TOI 700C is two and a half times bigger than the Earth, orbiting after 16 days with a high chance of being filled with gases. TOI 700D is the exteriormost planet, the only planet in the zone that can be inhabited and is about 0.2 times bigger than planet Earth, orbiting after 37 days and gets, from its star, 0.86 times the energy provided to the Earth by the Sun from its star. Future studies will identify the presence of atmospheres on the planets and, if possible, study their composition. Even though the particular states of these planets are not known, the available information can be used to make computer-generated models that will help to predict them. Researchers in NASA modeled 20 TOI 700D potential environments to see if any of the versions would bring about habitable temperatures and pressures at the planet's surface. But what do you make of these recent scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.